I'm Jennifer Brown, the Executive Director of the Flatiron 23rd Street Partnership, and we're here today with representatives from the IDA World Congress giving a tour of the Flatiron District. We're hoping that they understand how neighborhoods can rebuild themselves. This neighborhood in particular has such a history of being a hotel destination and a residential destination for the city, and then went into a really a primarily commercial neighborhood, and now we've seen this transition back to a true mixed-use community, so it's very interesting to tell the story of the neighborhood. But Iron today is a residential neighborhood. It's a strong commercial neighborhood with core tenants like Credit Suisse, Grey Group, Tiffany, New York Life. We have a lot of tech entrepreneurs and startup companies. We are one of the premier dining destinations in the entire city. We have a wonderful park. It's really everything. Flatiron is everything. We had a neighborhood that really was very mixed use in the early days and considered the premier place to live that then went into a, a long period of time where it was primarily commercial and that existed up until about 10 or 15 years ago when we started to see the neighborhood turn again. So it's really come back around to be this mixed use neighborhood. Well this is great for us as a member of the host committee we wanted to showcase New York to the whole world. A lot of the things that have happened over the last 12 years under the Bloomberg administration in particular, uh, very new initiatives. The last time World Congress was here in 2007, the city actually is much different even from, from that period of time. So we really wanted to highlight and showcase what the bids have been doing, but also the administration to really grow New York.